and find out the equilibrium price and quantity at the intersection point of those two curves. So let us start. We have a data set, a three column data set, where quantity demanded data is on the first column, prices on the second column, and quantity supplied on the third column. And you will see these are standard uh, law of demand compliant schedule and also law of supply compliant schedule because when price is rising we see quantity demanded is decreasing and quantity supplied is increasing so consumers hates price increase and producer loves it that's why we see these uh, different trends in quantity demanded and quantity supplied as price rises from 100 uh, up to 600 here so first let's focus on plotting the demand curve so we selected those two columns uh, quantity demanded column and price column then hit insert and hit uh, the line plot notice that yes it's a downward sloping demand curve as you as you expect uh, because of the negative relationship between price increase and quantity so but after uh, after double check, you will uh, realize that the, that the axis values are not what you expected. You expected the price values to be displayed on the vertical axis and the quantity demanded values displayed on the horizontal axis. But after uh, visual scanning, you saw that in fact, the vertical axis is now reflecting quantity demanded data and horizontal axis is reflecting the price data. So you have to flip those data on those axes. How we accomplish that? First, we right click on the graph and click on select data. And we want to delete what we have. We want to remove what we have so that we can swap data across axes. So now it's a clean slate, so to speak. We're going to add data. Series name is quantity demanded. You can call it QD for abbreviation purposes. Now, series X values means they're asking for the horizontal axis data. So on the horizontal axis, we want it to display quantity demanded data. So we select quantity demanded values. We ignore the label, just capture the values from uh, second row. And then the series Y value in Excel, this Y means vertical axis data. We are going to delete what we had here using backspace and now we're going to select the price data from 100 through 600 and then we hit OK. Now we see that yes, the demand curve is downward sloping and horizontal axis is displaying the quantity demanded data and the vertical axis is now displaying the price data. Now we have to add the supply curve to it. So we click on add and then the series name would be quantity supplied. Series X value, remember X means horizontal. So on the horizontal axis, we are going to display the supply quantities. So we select the supply data, selected only data, not the label. So ignore the first row of column three and just select the numbers. And then Y values, remember, in Excel, this Y is referring to the vertical axis where we want the price data. So we capture the price values here. Ignoring the level, we just capture from column 2, row 2, and onwards up to row 7. And then we click OK. So that shows us that the demand curve with the, with the, the blue uh, with the blue colored curve, the downward sloping demand curve, and the orange colored upward sloping supply curve, they intersected at a point that is showing the, that is showing that uh, at $300 unit price for this product, both the quantity demanded and quantity supplied are equal. And that's what equilibrium means. Uh, equilibrium price means the price at which quantity demanded and supplied are equal. <clears throat> so the 
so the equilibrium has occurred at $300 price level and the quantity demanded and supplied both are 150 and now we can of course add excess titles so we can just click on it on the left click and then we just select just add uh, axis titles and we are gonna the vertical axis is displaying price we call it price these are in monetary unit so it's dollar and the horizontal axis is displaying horizontal axis is displaying uh, the quantity demanded and supplied so horizontal axis is displaying quantity demanded and quantity supplied right quantity supplied and we need a title for the uh, for the chart itself so we can just call it uh, equilibrium equilibrium price and quantity derivation basically it's a gra derivation using graph right using graphs so we have displayed how to draw demand curve and supply curve and find out equilibrium price and quantity using Microsoft Excel 2010 thank you so much for watching and if, if you have any questions please email me at the number provided Thank you.